Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today I am sharing with you guys what to do now that you have been accepted to the University of Florida. So hopefully if you're watching this video, you are officially a Gator. Congratulations, it is seriously a remarkable thing to be able to join the Gator Nation. It's a lot of fun. Gator Nation, the Gator Nation itself is so huge. I mean, it's really incredible what an impact that we do have on the world and the United States in general. I mean, there's so many gators, it's crazy. But I wanted to go over some key things that you should do now that you have been accepted. There is a checklist online, but I figure if you're a person who likes to hear from an actual person as to what you need to do, talking from experience, this might be helpful. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first thing you should do is set up your GatorLink account, which is your official email address for the University of Florida. And this email address lets you get into the Wi-Fi, tuition, picking classes, everything UF related, this is your go-to. So that's the first very important thing. Uh, the next thing is to make sure you get your FAFSA and financial aid information set up. If you are taking out student loans or if you're on scholarship or whatever the situation might be, make sure you get that set up as soon as possible so that way you're on the ball when it comes to preview and you can easily sign up for classes, all that fun stuff. That is something you definitely need to do as, as soon as possible. So the next thing you have to do is secure your spot here at the University of Florida. So you need to put down a $250 deposit by May 1st. I believe it's $250. Oh, it's $200 actually. Um, so it'll be applied to your student account and that'll go towards either preview or tuition. So that's when you officially say, yes, I'm going to be a University of Florida student. The next one is to review your housing options. So if you're planning on living on campus, you need to get your application in as soon as possible. One thing that has changed since I was a student and or since I was an incoming student applying, they had us sign the housing application after we submitted our application to UF. So now it looks like they're doing it a little bit differently. Um, complete the application and submit the $25 non-refundable housing fee. So now they do it in the spring after admission decision. Probably makes sense to do that now considering that the student has already gotten the decision they wanted and um, that's going to determine whether or not they're going to live on campus so that'll save you money in the long run. In that, that being said, make sure you get that done as soon as possible because as someone who has lived on campus for all three years here so far, it's imperative you get it done as soon as possible. Just trust me on that. The sooner, the better. Um, and then if you're living off campus and completely avoiding the whole dorm situation, um, which I totally, totally understand and get, make sure that you're investigating potential apartments to live in and stuff like that because they do fill up quite quickly. Now, granted, in like the fall, that's when a lot of people resign. So you want to make sure that if you want to live, if you want to join a sorority and you want to live in an apartment close to sorority row, make sure that you do get signed up for housing pretty early. Um, that's important to do as well. And you can also sublease too. Uh, that's another way to do it. It's a great way to save money as well. The next one is submitting your health information. So you want to make sure that you set up your UF health stuff, which basically says that you have health insurance. Otherwise, UF is going to charge you if you do not have health insurance to attend. They require every student to have health insurance and you want to make sure that you have that set up so that it's not going to be a problem and you're not going to have this ridiculous charge on your account wondering what it is. It's very easy to do. All you have to do is Google UF health information and then enter your health insurance information. So it's not too bad. It's um, pretty self-explanatory and you do that. I have to do that every single year to because it only goes through, I believe, like three semesters. So it's like summer, fall, and spring and then renews again summer, fall, spring. So that's important that you do so that you don't have that unnecessary charge on your account and you're good to go. All right, so the next one is uploading your Gator One photo. So you want to make sure when you come to UF for preview, 
you will have the option to take your Gator One photo. If you want it to be a cute photo, I would recommend uploading a photo before you come to preview. <laughs> um, that's what I did and it was very easy to get my Gator One card. I didn't have to take a picture and I didn't want to take a picture because that was on day two and day one of preview was rough and day two of preview I'm not even sure I was able to put on makeup that day. So <laughs> I'm glad that the picture that I have on my Gator One is actually a decent one. Let's, let's put it that way. All right guys, so the last step is to make sure that you submit your admission or your final transcripts because some high schools don't do this automatically and some colleges don't do this automatically. This was a pain for me to do. I actually, um, because I went to community college as well, I had to make sure that they sent the transcripts. Otherwise I couldn't register for classes in the fall or for spring. So that was a little bit frustrating to deal with, but we did end up getting it sorted out and I think it worked out perfectly. So just be patient, take your time, and know that your experience here at UF will be wonderful. If you guys have any more questions, please let me know down below because I will be happy to answer them with my knowledge and not really expertise. But you know, I've had three years of experience here, so I can definitely give you my experience. I'm not an expert, but I can definitely give you my experience. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and and uh, go Gators. Bye.